I'm gonna bring him straight down here, guys. I mean, all I gotta do is oh. just like that. There you go. <laughs> so, is My this. friend, you what? have met a terrible, terrible demise. Okay. But, uh, you know, oh. I, I don't feel too bad what? about it. What the heck? After all, if, if it weren't from me, it would have just been from someone else, you know? Right? I guess what I'm trying to say is life. Life goes on. All right, we need some music. Put well, it on. Well, from for everyone else, life mm -hmm. goes on. Not, not for you. You're, you're dead. Mr. Hippo, That's you know your stuff. That's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of one summer day in the park. I was having just a delightful picnic with my good friend Orville. So wait, and is this dude killed? Him, I Something? said, Orville, I, I have a story. And he said to me, what's the significance of the story? And I and said to him, Orville, well, not every on. story has to have significance, you know? Sometimes, uh, right. uh, you know, sometimes a story is just a story. This dude needs you some try friends. try to read into Seriously. every little thing and find meaning in everything anyone says. Mm. You'll just drive yourself crazy. I had a friend do it once. Right. It wasn't uh, pretty. We what talked the heck about is going it for on? years. And this... not only that, but um... you'll likely end up believing something you shouldn't believe and yeah. Thinking something you shouldn't think, or, or uh, uh, assuming something okay. you shouldn't assume. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I said uh, a story is is just a story. So just be quiet for one second of your life and eat your sandwich, okay? Bro, just course, hurry up! I ain't got no sandwich then, though. Dang I realized it. I made sandwiches, and poor Orville was having such difficulty eating it. What is he talking about? Elephants have those clumsy hands, you know. Okay. Actually, I, I suppose that's the problem. They okay. don't have hands at all, do they? They're, they're all feet. Big old flat yeah, feet, I, right. I couldn't imagine someone asking me to eat a sandwich with my feet. What now, is this? Now, if I recall correctly, there this was a bakery This is the strangest thing nearby. I've ever seen. I said to him, Orville, uh, let me go get you some rye bread. What a nice guy, huh? Now, I'm unsure yeah. if elephants enjoy rye bread, but I assure you that Orville does. Okay. Dude, that, that's now, pretty good to know. this was on a Tuesday, which was good because rye bread was always fresh on Tuesday. They made sourdough the more you know, bread guys. on Monday and threw it out Wednesday. What the freak is this or dude rather, talking about? they sold it at a discount for people wanting to feed the ducks. And then Ooh. probably at the end of the day, finally, they threw it all out. I, I so, don't recall. Are you saying bring rye bread to the sister location thing? Or ultimate custom night? To the bakery Keep every Orville Wednesday at bay? And, you know? and go feed the ducks. Uh -huh. He would buy all of the sourdough bread. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to feed the ducks sourdough bread at all. So why the freak you do it? It swells up in huh? their stomach and then they all die. Yep, you it, feed them uh, corn and least, stuff like that. At least that's what I've heard. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I He's still never going. saw any ducks die myself, He's still but going. I did notice a substantial decrease in the duck population over this the is, course of a few years. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. What is this Easter egg? Tell him that he was killing the ducks by feeding them sourdough bread. This tops this and toy chicken thing, guys, honestly. On the matter, <laughs> no, I and don't. I told Orville this as well. Mm -hmm. If you want to feed ducks or birds or any kind for that matter, what it's is best going to buy on, seed. Bro? I mean, when you think about it, Breads of any sort don't occur in Can nature. Can I exit this? They don't grow on trees or spring no, up I'm from the bushes. In. I'm actually locked into this. I, I don't have think to listen. birds know what to do with bread. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, oh no. yes, yes. So I Why bought do you have to remember some right now? Bread. What oh a fine day it was. Get it on, dude. Seriously. Is he done? Is he actually done? Because, like... Thank you so much! Hands down the most terrifying jump scare ever because of how dragged out that is. Come on, guys! It actually... <laughs> it seems that you have met a, a horrible demise, my friend. But, uh, you know, these these <gasps> things happen and, and life <gasps> life goes on. Not for you, obviously. You're, you're dead. But uh, it reminds me of a time I was, I was having a conversation with my friend Orville. We were, uh, where were we? I think we were by the, where, we the, the river. We were sitting by the river and watching the fish leap over the falls. And uh, I, I said to Orville, you know, sometimes I feel like a fish leaping over and over again, always trying to get somewhere. Though, I don't know where, only to find myself in the jaws of a beast. He, of course, looked at me uh, surprised, you know? Have you been in the jaws of a beast, friend? To which I said, no, of course not, Orville. I said, no, 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 no. I simply meant that life can seem like a relentless endeavor to overcome meaningless obstacles, what? only to meet an equally meaningless fate, regardless of your efforts, regardless of the obstacles you've passed. 
and uh, Orville, he, he, he stood and proceeded to drape me with a picnic cloth, to which I, 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 I asked him, I said, Friend, what, what are you doing? He looked at me very concerned, really. I feel like you've gotten too much sun. Indeed, <laughs> indeed I had. He proceeded to pour me a glass of oh my God. ice cold lemonade. Ooh, you ever mix it with iced tea? You do like a little half lemonade, half. Ooh, it's so you should try it some. Well, you can't because you're dead. But anyways, <laughs> so you may be asking yourself, how did I go from sitting by the falls and drinking lemonade to being wedged in the air duct? Not only with Orville, but with an entire assortment of fruity colored friends. Oh. Well, there's uh, there's really no good answer to that, but. Perhaps I met a demise of my own at some point, and this is my afterlife or my dream, whatever it might mean. I, I honestly don't know. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. <laughs> What the hell? Did you do that? What? Okay, well, there you go, guys. I swear I don't think my kids like me anymore. What are you doing? Uh, it seems that you have met a, a horrible demise, my friend. But, uh, you know, these these things happen and, and life, life goes on. Not for you, obviously. You're, you're dead. But uh, it reminds me of a time I was I was having a conversation with my friend Orville. We were uh, Orville. Where were we? I think we were by the where, we were the the river. We were sitting by the river and I, watching I'm happy the fish for you, but I, over the falls. I can't even and, hit it. I uh, I said to Orville, you know, sometimes I feel like a fish leaping over and over again, always trying to get somewhere, though. I don't know where, only to find myself in the jaws of a beast. He, of course, looked at me uh, surprised, you know? Have you been in the jaws of a beast, friend? To which I said, no, of course not, Orville. I said, no, 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 no. I, I simply meant that life can seem like a relentless endeavor to overcome meaningless obstacles, only to meet an equally meaningless fate, regardless of your efforts, regardless of... The obstacles you've passed. And uh, Orville, he, he, he stood and proceeded to drape me with a picnic cloth, to which I, I, I asked him, I said, Friend, what, what are you doing? He looked at me very concerned, really. I feel like you've gotten too much sun. Indeed, <laughs> indeed I had. He proceeded to pour me a glass of just ice-cold lemonade. Ooh, you ever mix it with iced tea? You do like a little half lemonade, half, ooh, it's so, you should try it some, well, you can't because you're dead, but anyways, so you may be asking yourself, how did I go from sitting by the falls and drinking lemonade to being wedged in the air duct, not only with Orville, but with an entire assortment of fruity colored friends? Well, there's, uh, there's really no good answer to that, but perhaps I met a demise of my own at some point. How long does this go on? Afterlife or my dream Whatever it might mean, I, I honestly don't know. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. I don't like him. Yeah, don't die to him again. Definitely not. Okay. Jeez, I gotta turn on the heater. They're all, they're too crazy. <sighs> What? I turned on the heater, but he still got through. Uh, oh no! It seems that you have met a, a horrible demise, my friend. But uh, you know these these things happen, and, and life life goes on. No! Yeah, you, Perhaps I met a demise of my own at some point, and this is my afterlife or my dream, whatever it might mean. I I honestly don't know. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Oh. Did you hear that? He said, maybe I got stuck in the duct. Maybe it's an afterlife or something, but maybe it just doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe that's a message to everyone, like, you read too much into everything. <laughs> it's an interesting little thing there. Wow. Oh, obviously. Obviously it was him. My friend, you have met a terrible, 
terrible demise. Yes, yes, I have. But uh, you know, I I'm I don't gonna, feel I'm too just gonna bad about quickly it. Put this microphone After all, if there. if it weren't from me, oh, it would have just been from someone else. You know, I guess oh. what I'm trying to say is life life goes on. Mm. Well, well, from for everyone else, life goes on. Not not for you. You're you're dead. But that's neither here nor there. It reminds me of one summer day in the park. I was having just a delightful picnic just, with my good friend yourself, Orville. Everybody. And I said to him, I said, Orville, I, I have a story. And he said to me, what's the significance of the story? And I said to him, Orville, not every story has to have significance, you know. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes a story is just a story. You try to read into every little thing and find meaning in everything anyone says, you'll just drive yourself crazy. Had a friend do it once. Wasn't pretty. We talked about it for years. And not only that, but you'll likely end up believing something you shouldn't believe and thinking something you shouldn't think or, or assuming something you shouldn't assume, you know? Sometimes, I said, uh, a story is, is just a story. So just be quiet for one second of your life and eat your sandwich, okay? Of course, it was only then I realized I made sandwiches, and poor Orville was having such difficulty eating it. Elephants have those clumsy hands, you know. Actually, I, I suppose that's the problem. They don't have hands at all, do they? They're, they're all feet. I, I, I couldn't imagine someone asking me to eat a sandwich with my feet. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a bakery nearby. I, I said to him, Orville... Uh, let me go get you some rye bread. Now, I'm unsure if elephants enjoy rye bread, but I assure you that Orville does. Now, this was on a Tuesday, which was good because rye bread was always fresh on Tuesday. They made sourdough bread on Monday and threw it out Wednesday, or rather they sold it at a discount for people wanting to feed the ducks, and then probably at the end of the day, finally, they threw it all out. I, I don't recall. I do remember a man who would bring his son to the bakery every Wednesday and then go feed the ducks. He would buy all of the sourdough bread. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to feed the ducks sourdough bread at all. It swells up in their stomach and then they all die. It, uh, at least, at least that's what I've heard. You know, I, I never saw any ducks die myself, but I did notice a substantial decrease in the duck population over the course of a few years. I just never thought to stop the man and tell him that he was killing the ducks by feeding them sourdough bread. And if you want my opinion on the matter, <laughs> and I told Orville this as well, if you want to feed ducks or birds or any kind for that matter, it's best to buy seed. I mean, when you think about it, breads of any sort don't occur in nature. They don't grow on trees or spring up from the bushes. I don't think birds know what to do with bread. What was I saying? Oh, oh yes, yes. So I bought Orville some rye bread. What a fine day it was. Is that... He finished? But I'm Jiminy Christmas! That guy has been literally half the stream so far. Boy, you better check yourself! <laughs>